How you guys doing? Welcome to another episode of the Anthony Brown Show. I'm yours truly, Mr. Anthony Brown. And I'm coming to you with a video that was requested by Magdalene Junkery from my Instagram channel. So guys, if you haven't followed me or haven't subscribed, please go over to my Instagram channel. It's also the Anthony Brown Show on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook. And do subscribe to those channels as well. Because I do a lot of information and a lot of postings on those channels that I don't necessarily do here on YouTube. So if you don't want to miss out on anything, definitely follow me on my other social medias as well. So again, that's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. But yes, Magdalene, she um, had actually asked that I do a reaction video to this particular post. It's a post that is done by um, the VaderWorks International Fellowship Jamaica, a ministry that's back home in Jamaica, um, with the Apostle Dr. J. Andrew Scott. What happened was back in 2010, Dalton had entered into a contest called um, the Digicel Rising Star Competition. And this particular pastor, he prophesied and spoke over Dalton's life that he would not only win the Digicel Rising Star in 2010 in Jamaica, that he would also win the X Factor which he recently won in um, 2018, last year. So I want to get right into this video. And you two, I, I need you all to comment below. Let me know what you think about this uh, ministry, about the, about the prof prophetic word, about Dawson Harris. Um, any thoughts you have. Also, if you have any ideas of any future videos you'd like to see me do, definitely comment below and let me know those as well. So I'm going to get right into this video. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever he says he will do, rest assured, he will do it because he cannot lie. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 states, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to give you hope and a future and a prosperous end. We are always thankful that God keeps using the sent one among us, Apostle Dr. J. Andrew Scott, to reveal hidden truths and to unearth treasures and to set our gifts in motion. One such gift that was set in motion back in 2010, he was crowned on the world stage then, and since recently, he was crowned again. Please take a look. You told me that I must have faith and that God will carry me through. You're giving him a voice that will always be remembered. Good performer. Voice of velvet in the name of Jesus. And God, the beginning of what you're about to do in his life, in the name of Jesus. I tell you from early. You're going to be doing some work with persons that you're going to, it's going to shock you that you're going to do work with in the studio. You were probably the best singer in this competition, if not the best singer of the X Factors on the scene. Yeah, um, I was here a couple of weeks ago. Yes. <laughs> the competition was in top four. Um, when I entered this competition, I never paid a dime to enter. I just went there and I entered. The week when I made top three, I never did any campaigning at all. But you told me that I must have faith and that God will carry me through. Um, I went the Sunday and I made top three. That was putting me in a position to get at least $400,000. So the following week now I said, Prophet say I must have faith. So you know what? I'm not going to kill up myself and campaign. <laughs> so I had a lot of interviews with the media houses. So therefore I had only one day of campaigning. Then out of the blues, this stranger just called and offered me $30,000 to put towards my campaign. And now I'm in the top two, at least $600,000 or a million dollars. I 
performance. The winner of this year's Digital Rising Stars competition is... That's the beginning of what is to come because we said for you, somebody! Now, just, just to um, piggyback on something that was said earlier in the video, when Dalton had mentioned that he didn't pay a dime to enter into the contest, it was a contest that an entry fee was in, was required to get into the contest. But because of his, his faith and his love of the Lord, and he just stepped out on faith, he went and entered into the competition without any money, without any income. And actually, um, they accepted him. So he, he, he entered into the competition blindly and uh, and on hope and they accepted him so let's go let's go for it huh? Anthony made a statement said him no know what happened this week in vice so different <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> eh? uh, remind him about him tight <laughs> Somebody yelled out of the crowd of the congregation and said, "Remind him of his tithes, tithes and offering." Um, in in the church, at least churches that I know of, they they believe that ten percent of your income is to be given back to the church, bring it back to the storehouse. Whereas, um, based on my knowledge and, and research of tithe and offering, the original. Hebrews, the original people of, of the Bible, tithe had nothing to do with finances at all. But do your research. And that's another video. But nevertheless, they're saying um, remind him of his tithe. So they're already trying to dig into his pockets and he haven't even won yet. But that's typical of most churches. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to lay hands for you again. It's only you can stop you. Right? It's only you can stop you. God hand is on. And it is so funny that both persons I see there, that is first, second, are Christians. First time them out early. All the Christians who normally go in, them send them home early. <laughs> and those who decide to stay and win, change, backslide. In the name of Jesus. No backslide for no one in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's like, it's like, this lady, she always did it. A cheer for you. A cheer. Always at the so Yeah, man. Right, that's so. all. You understand? And end time. Enter your old mic, just remember, now watch you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stretch your hands to him in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you again. Lord, you silence every, every plan of the enemy, God, over him. He's anointed for worship. And God, you know his heart. We thank you, God. We cover him again. And Lord, let that which you have started continue. Let it be a wave of fire all around in the name of jesus that he shall create waves and god that this will just be a sign a beginning god for what you will do in his life and you will use him god not just to sing to entertain but to sing for ministry that lives will be changed bodies will be healed people will be delivered God, that people somewhere will always be saying there's something about this man that they can't understand. And, oh God, it is because of your anointing. Father God, we thank you now. You anoint him for worship. And that, oh God, you will use him in great way. God, in the palm of your hand, you're molding him and fashioning him. You're giving him a voice that will always be remembered. In the name of Jesus. So we command floodgates to open for him breakthroughs to come thank you god for your anointing thank you god for the waves of blessing in the name of jesus and we give you praise now it will not be stopped 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, as you know, it's not just prayer. The prayer gone ahead. You have to do something too. Eh? What is your number? Four, 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 four. Let go. Let go. A tree. That's up. A tree, you know. A tree. A tree, you know. A tree. 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 It means something, you know. Tree. Tree means something. Voice of velvet in the name of Jesus. And God, the beginning of what you're about to do in his life, in the name of Jesus. I tell you from early, you're going to be doing some work with persons that you're going to, it's going to be shock you that you're going to do work with in the studio. Hallelujah. More commercials. Watch God. Watch God. Watch God. Watch God. In the name of Jesus, people are going to, as it were, <laughs> seek to come to have your voice with them. Watch God. Watch these names that will want to call you. Sean Paul, Shaggy, his names. But don't watch what they do. They're, they're out on the outside. But you're going to bring a change in the entertainment fraternity. Watch God. He's going to give you a voice. And he's going to give you words. Because you might say, God, I don't know what to say. And this is where your problem is. Just like Moses, he had a similar thing. I don't know what to say. But God says to tell you tonight, he will be your mouthpiece. He will speak. Just open the mouth. He will, he will fill it. He's going to use you to touch lives. Touch individuals. And even in the music fraternity, he is going to make you be a shock and an awe. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you now as we release him to go. That your hand of favor be all over him. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 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 You see it start work again. Anthony, like him confused. You know, you never know, you never know what to say, you know. Yeah, you uh, never even know what to say. Yeah, man. Eh? Yeah? Well, he said, check the voice. Oh, not troubling for man. Man, man, man work and tired, man. Eh? Yeah, eh? You hear what people must say? Eh? Yeah. Have mercy. Have mercy. Eh? Unless when you finish, you will come back and do something for us. Eh? Sure? Positive? Yeah, man. That's right. So, give me rest. Eh? There's a membership farm to be filled. What I just gathered from from that, um, when he said, "When when you win and when you finish, can you come back and do something for us?" To me, I don't. Know, maybe I'm just seeing too much into it. But right there, he's asking for a free performance, a free concert, because once you win and you and you know, you're now known as a professional. Um, you're a, a, a singer, an entertainer, world renowned. So, but again, churches always want free performances. You know, if he's a vocalist and he's a singer, he's an entertainer. That's what he do. That's his livelihood. So I feel that since churches bring in so much revenue, they too should also pay for their entertainers. So if they want an entertainer to come and perform, I don't know why most churches have this notion or, you know, do it for the Lord or whatever, whatever, you know, and come do a free show. No. Mm -mm. I, I, I personally, this is just my opinion. I personally disagree. But I hear that a lot, especially in, in the black churches. 
know, they always want somebody to come and entertain or do a show or do a performance or or, or do whatever for the church. Let's do it for the Lord. Mm -mm. No. But the church has income, so the church should pay for what th what they're getting. But nevertheless, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself and stepping outside. But it's just me voicing my opinion. But let's get back into the video. The pressure, man. Your auntie's here, man. Listen, our, our doors are always open, uh, always open. So at any time, you know. So, so, uh, but as we said, you have work to do for this week. The way you have to do. I think God is doing something through you and the other girl. It's it's just a sign that one. Um, you know, we as people of God, and all the while them just push out everything, and you know, you know, you just voice out and I watch nothing because your voice. Is going through airwaves that is touching lives. So even people know that if I won't even want to vote, just have a vote. So them things. Because of the work. Hallelujah. And you have to be a model for the kids and those who are in schools now watching. And you have to always speak that positive thing. Don't leave out Jesus out of your argument. Say so God has given you a voice. The gift, the Bible said, the gift make room. And it is God's grace. Okay? So when you finish and do everything, just remember. Yeah? Hi. No, well, I, I wasn't even talking that. But come back and sing our feast. Alright? Yeah. Some nice things, you know, you just run. Yeah, just give some a cappella. Alright. Acapella, acapella. Alright, so ease up this week. Yes, sir. the prayer. Yes, sir. And you're going to put in the thing. Yes, huh? No oh, man. No oh, man. Am I right? Yeah? The number? Alright, give him the number. Four 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 five five zero three. Four 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 five five zero three. Alright? You log it? Support his work, right? So when I'm finished doing it, remember, come so we can pray over you again. Now finish and just take care yourself. I said, just tell Prophet, me busy. No, every time a great thing happen, come back and rejoice. All right? Hallelujah. God, and just celebrate God for what he has done. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right? So you're set this week, right? Um, so after I'm finished now, we just give him all a half hour. Just make him voice out. And if you want to do a membership farm after that, you can do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. God, the Every time a Every great time thing happens, happen. come back, back, I've been and so rejoice. In my life and time. If not the best singer the X Factor's ever seen. The winner of the X Factor 2018 is Dalton. Every time a Every great time. thing happens, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, 
and rejoice. Remember, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the spirit of the living God. Remember, keep God first, be thankful, and always... Okay. I'm going to stop the video right there. Um, I was very impressed um, for the most part. Um, other than the parts that I did my commentary over already. But it was definitely a, a, a excellent word, a powerful word, a deep, detailed word, and, and it all came to pass. So, big ups to, to Dalton, big ups to um, the Apostle and his ministry there in Jamaica. But I'm going to end the video. And like I said, I need you guys to comment below. Let me know what you think of the ministry, what you think of the pastor, the apostle. What do you think of Dalton? What do you think of this whole video? Comment below. And let me know what you feel, what you think, what, what your views are. At the same token, um, also let me know below any other videos that you'd like me to do. Doesn't necessarily have to be music videos. Doesn't necessarily have to be Dalton. Because I know right now, the Anthony Brown show, you guys have gone Dalton crazy. At the same token, I'm less than 210 subscribers away from reaching my first milestone. I'm sorry, my second milestone, which would be 1,000 subscribers. So I'm going to need for everybody, everybody, please, 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 I beg of you, share this video on your social media so that your friends and family can come to see what's going on over here. To get me to my second milestone, which is 1,000 subscribers, I would greatly appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, as I always say, grind until you shine.